Hola a todos, ¿cómo están? Yo soy señor Eduardo y yo soy tu profesor de español. Este es el episodio 13 de Big Spanish. Hello, Brookline. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is Mr. Ed, señor Eduardo, and I'm here with you uh, from Rolla Languages, World Language Institute located in Cambridge. So thank you very much for watching Spanish class with us. We are doing introductory Spanish for all of you at Brookline who are interested in taking language classes or learning a little bit about the Spanish language. So hoy, hoy vamos a aprender mucho vocabulario. So this class, we're going to learn a lot of vocabulario, vocabulary. So I want you to do a lot of repetition with me today and it's actually repeating is a great warm up. So get your pen and paper ready. I'm going to share your, my screen with you, but make sure you are getting ready for this. You're writing the words down. Um, I'm going to repeat them twice and spell them one time so you can practice your alphabet and then I'll pause. There's actually a lot of words today. So I might just do some of them and then in the next class we can continue doing the other ones. Okay, muy bien. So vamos a aprender o comenzar con vegetales. So repeat after me, vegetales, muy bien, vegetales, vegetales are vegetables, vegetables, vegetales, muy bien. Okay, let's go over this list, I'm going to disappear for a second and you'll hear my voice and just repeat after me on the right column, capítulo tres, let's go, la zanahoria. La zanahoria, that means the carrot. So repeat after me twice, and then I'm gonna spell zanahoria, okay? So zanahoria is Z, A, N, A, H, O, R, I, A, zanahoria. Zanahoria is carrot, carrot, muy bien. Repita dos veces, la lechuga. La lechuga. La lechuga is, muy bien, you can see it there, lettuce. Lechuga is L, E, C, H, U, G, A. Lechuga. La lechuga. Muy bien. Repita. El tomate. El tomate. Tomate se deletrea T O M A T E. Tomate. Say the vowels for me very quickly. Do you remember las vocales? Okay, muy bien. A E I O U. We've been repeating that a lot. So you'll see, hear them, and see them as we're spelling these vocabulario. So the next word we have, repita dos veces. El pepino, el pepino, muy bien, pepino se deletrea P, E, P, I, N, O, pepino, ok, cucumbers, la cebolla, la cebolla, remember when C is followed by an E, it's an S sound, so it's cebolla, and double L makes the Y sound, so la cebolla, C, E, B, O, L, L, A, la cebolla, onion, okay, then we have el ajo, el ajo, ajo is A, J O garlic. Mm, me gusta ajo. Okay, continuamos. We're halfway there, almost. El pimiento. Repita. Talk out loud. El pimiento. Bell pepper. El aguacate. The avocado. El aguacate. The avocado. Los champiñones. And we have two words for mushrooms, we have champiñones, and we have hongos. So let's start with champiñones. Se deletrea C-H-A-M-P-I-N-O-S. 
N E S. Wow, that's a long one. Champiñones. Okay, and hongos is H O N G O S. So those are two words you can use interchangeably for mushrooms. Okay, we have el broccoli, right? The accent makes you um, uh, emphasize that first syllable, el broccoli. Broccoli, se deletrea B-R-O, acento C-O-L-I, broccoli. Las espinacas, las espinacas. Muy bien, espinacas is spinach, and se deletrea, it's spelled e s p i n a c a s espinacas. Los guisantes, los guisantes. Guisantes is spelled g u i s a n t e s guisantes. As Esparragos, right? So we have that ex accent, esparragos. E S P A R R A G O S, esparragos. Berenjena, la berenjena. Berenjena se deletrea. You try it now. Okay, there's a lot of vowels there. B E R E N G E N A, la berenjena. El maíz, el maíz. Maíz se deletrea M A I, acento Z. Z is Z. Muy bien, maíz. El apio, celery, el apio. A P I O, apio. Then we have coliflor. Coliflor, C O L I F L O R, coliflor. And lastly, we have calabaza, which is pumpkin or squash, actually. Calabaza, C A L A B A Z A, calabaza. Okay, A A A A A, calabaza. Okay, everybody. So now I want you to try to read so only los vegetales on your own. I'm going to share my screen and I want you to read from top to bottom without stopping. And then I'll come back on. I'll read them one more time. And right now we're just working on pronunciation. I understand that you have to take some time um, and memorize them through flashcards or making a matching game. But let's see if you can pronunciate them first. Wow, muy bien. Okay. Let me go ahead and say them for you one more time. I'm going to say una vez un poco más rápido. La zanahoria, la lechuga, el tomate, el pepino, el cebolla, el ajo, el pimiento, el aguacate, los champiñones, los hongos, el brócoli, las espinacas, los guisantes, los espárragos, la berenjena, el maíz, el apio, la coliflor, and la calabaza. Okay, so let's take a quick pause there and work with some of these. Um, uh, vocabulario de los vegetales, okay? Muy bien, so... We have a lot, muchas palabras aquí, okay? Um, one, we already know how to say me gusta, me gusta. What is me gusta? Muy bien. Me gusta is I like, and I think you might have practiced this before, me gusta or me gustan. So I'm going to add that to our banner here, okay? So me gusta if it's one 
and it's singular. Me gustan, I like. Both of these mean I like. We add that in if the word after it is plural. Okay? So, for example, we have the carrot. Find the carrot on the list. I like the carrot or I like carrots. Me gusta la zanahoria. Me gusta la zanahoria. Now let's jump down to the first plural word that I see there is los champiñones. That is plural, has an S on it. Los champiñones, plural. You would say, me gustan los champiñones. Me gusta, me gustan los champiñones. Okay, let's go back to the top to lettuce. ¿Cómo se dice lettuce en español? Okay, muy bien. Se dice la lechuga. La lechuga. Okay, so lechuga is lettuce. Lechuga. I like lettuce. Is it me gusta or me gustan? Good, there's no S on la lechuga, so it's one. So you use me gusta. So me gusta la lechuga. Me gusta la lechuga. Let's find eggplant. Go ahead and look on your list for eggplant. You can look this time. Eggplant in Espanol se dice berenjena. Me gusta or me gustan? Very good. As I said before, it's singular. And if it's singular, go with me gusta. Me gusta berenjenas. Oh, no. Me gusta berenjena. But... Plural, me gustan berenjenas. Okay, let's go with bell pepper. ¿Cómo se dice bell pepper en español? Bell pepper. Okay, pimiento. Pimiento. Okay, so we have el pimiento, which is the bell pepper. I like the bell pepper. One, me gusta. El pimiento. Okay, so let's do dos más. Two more. We have the corn. I like corn. So first, find corn. Muy bien. Corn en español es maíz. Me gusta maíz. I like corn. And lastly, I like green peas. Mm. Green peas. Muy bien, guisantes. Me gustan guisantes or los gui guisantes. Remember, me gusta is singular or you use it with singular words or also verbs. Me gustan, you use with the N, right? The N and the plural. So me gustan los guisantes. Muy, muy bien. Perfecto. So last week, you practiced with the word, the verb ser. Ser means I am. Yo soy. Repita, por favor. Yo soy. Tú eres. Él es. Nosotros, nosotras somos. Vosotros, vosotras, vosotras sois. And ellos, ellas, ustedes son. Okay, so yo soy. Tú eres. Él, ella, usted es, nosotros, nosotras somos, vosotros, vosotras sois, ellos, ellas, ustedes son. Using those, let's see if you can say for Halloween, I ask you, what are you for Halloween? And you say, I am an onion. Okay, I am. I am is yo soy. An onion was what? Do you remember? Cebolla. Cebolla. So you have, I am an onion. Yo soy cebolla or una cebolla. Okay, muy bien. You have, I am a bell pepper. Okay, I am a bell pepper. Bell pepper in español se dice pimiento. Pimiento. Pimiento, yo soy un pimiento. Okay. How do you say avocado? Avocado. 
Okay, muy bien. Avocado is aguacate. How do you say I am an aguacate? Yo soy, right? We're trying now. This is a silly game, but you have some verbs now, and I want you to try to make simple sentences, right? Okay. And how do you say I am? I am a mm, garlic. <laughs> Garlic said he said ajo. So yo soy un ajo. Okay. And last one is let's go with tomate, tomato. I am a tomato. Yo soy un tomate. Okay. Let's try to combine these. So these are the ones we just practiced with. So repita por favor. Lechuga is lettuce. Pimiento is green pepper or bell pepper. Aguacate is avocado. Apio is, apio is celery. Okay. Apio. Ajo is garlic. And tomate is tomato. Tomate. Now, you conjugated the verb said already. You've already know this because you've been practicing, 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 and this is uh, what you are, right? Um, so, Let's go back and forth. Let's go with, you are a tomato. Tú eres un tomate. You are, tú eres un tomate. You are an avocado. Tú eres un aguacate. We are lettuce. Okay. Nosotros somos lechuga right nosotros somos lechuga we are lettuce he is an avocado él es un aguacate él es un aguacate and lastly we are celery nosotros somos apio Okay, so I've combined something you've done last week and something that we're learning, right? Los, um, uh, the verb ser, which is to be permanent, okay? And we're using ser because technically, if you're for something for Halloween, that's kind of like a profession, right? So it's permanent. We use ser. It doesn't change that night. If you're a pumpkin at the beginning of the night, hopefully you're a pumpkin at the end of the night when you get home from trick-or-treating. Okay, and I just made you use... Um, six vocabulario from Los Vegetales today so that you can practice making simple sentences with the verb said. So you now know how to say me gusta and me gustan again, okay, using all of Los Vegetales. You now can use the verb ser, ser, to um, say I am or I am not or you are or they are in these vegetables, okay? Muy bien. And now you can practice spelling them as well, okay? So this is the alfabeto, which we've been practicing over and over and over again. And at the beginning of the class, okay, I asked you to spell them after I repeated them. So let's do a little spelling test here. Try, I know that you're saying these words for the first time today, but try to listen to the words, the, the sounds that are coming out of my mouth and see if you can um, just focus on the sounds, the vowels, the, the letters, and then spelling it. So for example, let's go with pimiento. Pimiento. ¿Cómo se deletrea? How do you spell pimiento? Okay, pimiento se deletrea P I M I P I P I M I E N T O pimiento P I M I E N T O pimiento muy bien lechuga lechuga cómo se deletrea lechuga muy bien lechuga L, E, C, H, U, G, A. Lechuga. ¿Cómo se deletrea lechuga? Right? L-E-C-H-U-G-A. Lechuga. Dos más. 
Espinacas. ¿Cómo se deletrea espinacas? E, S, P, I, N, A, C, A, S. Espinacas. Okay. And last one is calabaza. Those are all A sounds. Ah, 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 ah. It doesn't change. Calabaza. Calabaza se deletrea C, A, L, A, B, A, Z, A. Calabaza. Muy bien. So everybody, if you want more practice on these, go to www.rolling.com. You can connect there to our YouTube page, but we also have some exercises in the resources page that you guys can watch more videos to help you practice with these um, and, and learn a little bit more. Okay, so let's repeat one more time. Okay, repita por favor. La zanahoria, la lechuga, el tomate, el pepino, la cebolla, el ajo, el pimiento, el aguacate, los champiñones, los hongos, el brócoli, las espinacas, los guisantes, los espárragos, la berenjena, el maíz, el apio, la coliflor, la coliflor, and then la calabaza, la calabaza. So you've also learned el, la, los, las, those are the articles. So these are the, so um, in the vocabulary list, we're using the carrot, the tomato, the avocado, the mushrooms, right? You can also change them to the indefinite articles, which is un or una, right? And um, we've seen that a couple of times, and we will continue practicing more and more um, this. So um, it's a great way for you to just use the same words and uh, keep practicing, okay? Muy bien, so repita, repita, repita. Okay, muy bien. So as we wrap up today's class, I wanna kind of talk a little, about, little bit about the process of learning the language, okay? So in this first level, you're actually memorizing a lot, okay? So for those of you who need to use some tricks to memorize words, maybe you are an audio visual person, a visual person, a hearing person, Maybe uh, you're you're you like writing. I actually have to write them out and actually see myself writing them, and then I can remember them better. Um, there are some ways that you can practice on your own. Um, I recommend for all of my students who are listening to this, if this is your first class with us online or watching this um, with Big Big, Big um, talk to the computer screen, say the words out loud over and over again. I say repeat after me. I'm not saying repeat it in your head. I want you to actually verbalize it and, and say it because that's the best way for you to remember. Then um, do the work, right? So I'm giving you the list. You make flashcards, maybe at breakfast, play a little matching game. Um, and then maybe then we now I've given you some verbs that you can use and some phrases to have you spell them. So tell yourself, ask yourself, ¿Cómo se deletrea this word? How do I spell this word? And, and then practice saying it. You can then make simple sentences. You have the verb ser and estar. And now you have me gusta and me gustan. And a few weeks ago, you um, also learned I want to be. Yo quiero. I want is yo quiero, and ser means to be permanent. So these are all tools that you all can practice with at home so that, um, you know, we're giving you this, this first 
section of this chapter has a lot of words, right? You're not going to remember all of them, but I want you to remember as many of them as possible, okay? And as we learn more vocabulary words, and if you remember them, then it's gonna be awesome because then you can say the color of the vegetables, how many vegetables there are, five, 10, 20, 30 of them, you can count them. But you guys are doing fantastic. I'm super excited. Muchisimas gracias. I will start talking myself and Senorita Erika We'll talk more and more Spanish to you all. So don't worry. We're trying to ease you into the process because we're actually not there with you. And this isn't interactive. You guys, I'm trusting you that you're listening to me, Senor Eduardo. Muy bien. So as always, you guys can go visit us at www.rolalang.com. Uh, there's a lot of free resources there, but also some resources that you can purchase uh, or contact us if you have any questions through your language learning process. But Si se puede, yes you can, muchísimas gracias.